All right, folks, my name is Trevor from Creative Boy Agency, and I'm here with my partner in crime. Tommy from Creative Boy. And uh, today, we're going to talk about lighting. Um, we lighting. got a question specifically about our lighting, but we're also gonna kind of give a quick, you know, kind of overlay about general lighting techniques, the three-point lighting system, and then we'll kind of talk about our current uh, setup that we've got going right now. For sure, lighting is very important if you are doing any type of video. So today in this tutorial, we're gonna show you how our lighting in the studio works. And we're also gonna teach you a little bit of how some of the techniques and how we uh, got this lighting uh, going. All right. So as far as just kind of basic, uh, basic lighting techniques would be the three point lighting system and uh, for some of you the smart ones in the audience will already know the three-point lighting system consists of three points of light mm -hmm. you'll have your key light that is your main source of light again your key is the dj Khaled. it's the key it's the number one the most important key. light uh, the key out light. of the three you'll have your fill light right. which is usually opposite of your key light again mm -hmm that's the fill light is really just filling the rest of the room with light and then you'll have your back light or your hair light which is focused more on um, just lighting up the background and um, again that's your third third light right so. so as Trevor mentioned this same concept will work in any um, any kind of setup if you are lighting your uh, your set you want to make sure that you put in the third point lighting in mind you also uh, have to test things out to see which lighting works for you. Absolutely. I mean, and again, the while we uh, have kind of, you know, we've moved a little bit past the three-point lighting system, um, the the fundamentals are still there. Right. Um, especially when we're, and again, we're focusing more on indoor shoots, not just studio, but really any room. Um, if you can utilize the three-point uh, lighting system, you'll be able to at least get a decent you know, decent lighting situation. And right. um, as Tommy talked about in the beginning, lighting is Everything. key. If you have good lighting, even in a subpar camera, if the lighting is good, uh, nine times out of 10, you'll at least be uh, be able to get good results. Right. With your, uh, with so, your yeah. So in this tutorial, we're, gonna, we're just gonna show you the setup. In another tutorial, we're actually gonna break down some of the lights that we have here. Um, lights are lights. Um, but the quality of lights is very important. You also want to make sure that you get lights um, like the soft box that we have over on my left. Um, we have um, this little thin material that makes the light not too bright, makes it a little bit shallow so you can light and get a softer look on the skin. So you want to make sure you get uh, those type of lights. You want to get soft boxes, you want to get soft lights. That will make your set a lot nicer. That's right. Um, so sort of side note, right? And actually, let me real quick. I see it in the background. Right. Let me be going off. Sure, we're gonna go off a little bit. Mm hmm. So talking of that soft thing that I talked about, this is that material, and this material is actually found in a lot of soft boxes. You're gonna find this. In front of it there's a reason for this particular thing and Trevor you want to talk more about it um, sure so I mean this is what's gonna help you you can kind of even if I move it up again it helps soften uh, soften your lights so um, that also helps again with the mood and the atmosphere the type of shoot right. you're doing um, if you're doing something where you want a little bit of a harder light and when we say harder that just means more harsh more uh, intense um, light you don't you might not want this but depending on the mood of your shoot you might want something a little bit softer that's where again something like this is just gonna soften it the just light. softens it up it makes softens. it more even more gentle right. um, but also again as you see like even in the background we have this reflector here when we're talking about a fill light a fill light doesn't necessarily have to be a light itself a fill light can literally just be reflective material that's right. bouncing back on your subject just giving a little bit again right. of extra light on the side yeah from above yeah. just to help again fill things out 
Okay. So in Hollywood, um, they use this a lot. Um, this can be a bounce. Uh, can you you can use it as a bounce material as well. You know, it's a kind of bounce reflector. Some of these materials come in gold and silver colors. These really help. You can actually point a light to this and you're getting a really, really soft output. Very, very important. These little, little things, if you don't know, you're not gonna get a good video. The reason why we wanna make the light so soft is to help us soften some of the work in post-production. So if you're doing any post, and I talk about post, we're gonna do uh, tutorials on that. If you, know, if you don't know what post-production is, it's whenever you shoot something or you take a video, you take a photo, the editing that comes after that. So it makes the work a lot easier when you soften your light. All right, absolutely. Again, your key light is your most important light. Um, that's the main the source main. of light in your shoot. Right. Um, so I mean, for instance, for us, we have two lights that are above us that are shining on our faces. Those are our key lights. <laughs> Again, three point lightning system doesn't mean three lights it literally yeah it, it can, can be, be 10 that. lights but if five of those lights are the main ones those five lights are your key lights mm -hmm. um, don't you know don't take it too personal. literally <laughs> don't know? take it too personal you got three <laughs> yeah. lights and you still and look think, dark and think that's yeah. it just but yeah also while you're lighting your stuff make sure your isos are a little bit down because you are you know you are adding more lights so you can turn your ISO on your camera down. An ISO, it, it, you know, controls the gamma, it controls the brightness of the clip. And also make sure that your ISOs are low. So when you light things up, you can get a really good picture. Also, if you're using color lights, like these lights that we have back here, you wanna light, you wanna make sure your fill and your side lights are a little bit toned down so it doesn't uh, affect the color. Cause if these lights, these uh, white colored lights, if it's pointed, if it's too harsh on the background, you're not gonna even see any color behind us. So make sure you keep that in mind as well. Again, I would say for our lighting, right. our key lights, our most important lights um, would be our two overhead lights. What do, what do we got? What do we got going here? These are our- We got two newer lights. Right, the two newer. Yep. Uh, LEDs that are again yeah. shining in front of our faces. We got them open a little bit, so they're getting right again, getting our faces, getting our right. bodies have really the front of us covered, lit well, lit good. These are our key lights. And also here we have our photo deox light. Uh, mm -hmm. it's, it's one light over the left and one light over the right. And you might ask, what kind of temperature should I put my light in? I bought a light. It has a warm and a really white kind of looking. It doesn't really matter you can always adjust the temperature in the camera always go for the white shoot for the white when you're doing your uh fill lights so we have two photo dios lights that has three bars in these and it has a little kind of filter on the top that softens the light that's right and then on our backs uh behind me we've got i mean again it's just a soft just box. a it's just a soft box with a bulb and a blue blue gel filter over it and then uh, to the left behind the bookcase same thing with a green filter uh, right. behind it and again that's just lighting up the back helps give helps create a little bit of, of, uh, of distance yeah. um, between us the subject and the wall being the background um, and you know that's definitely something that you shouldn't uh, shouldn't overlook it's easy to overlook again the background what's behind you sometimes just a little bit of light to the back helps differentiate that's a word right uh <laughs> your subject your subject and, from, uh, from your back and your background from your background but like um the reason why we did not really go uh very technical with this is because i want you to learn it learn it the way uh we learned it we learned it um almost doing and kind of like trying things out Cause you can get all these lights, right? We said, oh, three point light, and you go get a light, you go get this light, you go get that light. But then you don't get that same quality that we get. So make sure you uh, experiment with lights. We even have a little light down here that is lighting this little uh, box. These are all additional lights that make your set really, really good. But the first thing, the, mess, uh, the, the major thing that you have to keep in mind is you wanna separate your background from 
your 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 subject um this is done with colors that's why we're using colors at the back these color lights kind of kind of gives us a little bit of uh, a separation um uh, if these if these walls were straight white then we kind of blend in we look the same so you want to make sure that you light in a certain way where you have some sort of uh, difference if you have a really good uh lens you can also do the trick where you kind of have a little kind of like a blur behind it it's called bucket you can have that to also help with the lighting we do not talk about this trip this is uh this is an extra light we have four lights actually on the front uh yeah that, that <laughs> those that are that just regular true. bulbs so in, the, in, the, in the room so All right. well what would we and you know again it, <laughs> it's, it, it, it's funny enough that's why even it's these tutorials are even interesting for us because Very again we didn't learn the book the book way these i guess would technically be i'll definitely have to put them in in post show them. these i guess would technically be fill lights they're fill filling lights. the yeah. room with some extra light but right. they're not lighting anything Bouncing. in particular it's just help light that's in the air that just helps uh, uh again help the entirety of the room um again be filled with light which again light is your friend and iso is your enemy that's light is your friend iso is your enemy ISO make sure you enemy. learn this and learn as well you want to turn your ISO down and light. Always do that. Always go to a room and turn it down. Make sure your ISO is around 400 to 600 and gain more. If you outside, turn it all the way down. And also make sure that you use these lighting techniques. And we're actually going to also show a video uh, whilst we're talking about this so you know what we're talking about. So that's with our lighting set up. I'm sure you got something to say. Um, let's see, besides uh, my new catchphrase, which is <laughs> ISO is your enemy, I truly mean that. The amount, the amount of shoots that I personally have <laughs> ruined, have ruined. Over the years. Bumping my ISO up, really thinking up. everything is gonna be cool <laughs> and it's not, um, it, it's, crazy. it's high, yeah, it's, it's high. Crazy. Sometimes, again, you can get you can get little just BS LED lights on Amazon that you can slap on top of your camera if you have just to keep a, every little bit of light you can count. If you're shooting yeah. anything indoors in a club, anything, don't be scared. Shine a light on people. Sometimes yeah. it's invasive, but you need that light. You need that light. If you, you don't need, have, yeah, you need, nothing you need messes up yeah. a shot more. We than actually light. shot um, a wedding that came really horrible it, it was it was it was one of the yeah. most like yeah. one of the one of the horrible videos that we actually shot um because we didn't have enough light but it was we, shot well it our was shot angles well. were good yeah. uh, again our camera was the light. cameras were good light. but we didn't have light and yeah. Right. And uh, um, on, on on maybe uh, uh, on next tutorials that we're gonna uh, we're gonna do, we're gonna bring an aperture light, which is one of the highest yeah. uh, lights that you can actually get in video uh, production. Um, we're gonna talk about these high end lights, and we're gonna talk about some of the low low end lights that we've used over the years that have really helped us a lot. Um, so like like he said, if you shooting uh, something in a banquet hall or you shooting in a hotel. They got those yellow lights that kind of dims down everything, makes everything look like uh, a trash. You don't want to, you know, uh, resort to the, those type of lights. You want to come in with your bright lights. And in audiovisual, in audiovisual production, most of the times they come in with these aperture lights, these really high, 5,000 plus over. I mean, I don't even know what kind of, what, how, 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 how can, uh, I don't even know what, I can even say about these these type of lights. These lights are huge uh, 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 on poles and have these things that these sections, these kind of uh, kind of uh, inserts that kind of cut the light and all that stuff. They do all that so they can get good quality. Um, you're also not gonna get um, a really good quality video if you don't have um, these lights set up well. So one, you wanna make sure your lights are set up well. You got your fill lights, you got your key lights, you got your hair lights, you got your top lights, you got, your, you got your miscellaneous lights, all these lights count and make sure you experiment with all these lights to get the perfect lighting for your setup. Yeah, I mean, again, I feel like I'm just a broken record on repeat, but for photo and video, 
maybe even more important than your camera's lighting. Yeah. I maybe if it's not <laughs> if it's not the most important, I'd say me. I say camera your your camera because I mean again, if you just have a trash camera, you're not going to get anything good, but I mean very close on the heels number 2 is very your close, lighting. Very close. And, very very close. But lighting is good. You have more wiggle room because it might not be easy. But again, if you can't like if you can't afford a good camera, you're kind of done. But if you can't afford an aperture light, you can afford a bunch of cheap lights. Oh, you, again, yeah. we have a we have a bunch of little cheap LEDs, all that. Sometimes you just need a little bit extra. Little it bit doesn't light. matter. You can you, yeah, you have more light. wiggle room right. to play right. with right. with light. And we're actually gonna do uh, another video and talk about some of the lights that we have. We we even have balls. We have literally balls. And I'm actually gonna grab one real quick. Oh, uh, Ellie, I have, a little I have too, balls. Man. Grab the little, little bar right there on the ground too. Yeah, we have balls right and we have, uh, uh, we literally have these kind of lights, these lights. These are but dirt. these will be um, another tutorial where we actually walk you through some of the cheap ass lights that you can actually get to get good quality uh, lighting from your video. Sometimes it's not about the money you spend, it's about what you're doing and what you know. Um, if you don't know um, what you're doing, you're always gonna be um, yeah. crawling on the ground. Say confidently, everybody watching this can afford these lights. Yeah, got these well, ones. Ten, 10 bucks. Yeah. Not, 10 for like, <laughs> for like five yeah. of these. Yeah. And, they're, and, they're very and, uh, bright. And actually, I actually, it's so funny that you said that I went to um, one of the uh, CBD, what was the hooker? Uh, one of these stores and they have all these lights yeah, all over the all over everywhere. the top everywhere um, And you can actually find this on Amazon. It's very, very cheap not to make this tutorial very long <laughs> um, We're gonna keep the rest of the tutorial for next week and We're gonna talk about some of the materials some of the bulbs and some of the lights that we have And I'm talking about bulbs actual bulbs, but we have specific bulbs that we use uh, and we have some in action right now. We have a blue light, blue bulb in a softbox. And we, we're, we're going to teach you all these things. And you can actually apply it for your videos. And you can get some good lighting. So if you enjoy this tutorial, make sure you hit the, the thumbs up. You like us and subscribe to our channel. Our channel is Creative Boy. And every week, we're going to make sure we drop two videos to help you grow your video and uh, photography. All right. So again... Please like, <laughs> Actually, please man, anyway. subscribe, please, please subscribe and let us grow this channel together. We love you all. I saw your enemy. Peace. <laughs> See you on the next tutorial. <laughs>